Hello, everybody, and welcome to an absolutely fabulous edition of Industrial Valco University, where you can get your PVF degree for free. All right, today we're going to talk about studs and gaskets. So this right here is a gasket, and this is a stud. I'm so sorry, class. That is actually a picture of me back when I used to do some modeling back in college, trying to earn a little money. Um, that was the control room. They uh, threw that picture on there. Hey guys, I'm going to get you. Those knuckleheads. Anyways, these are the actual studs we'll be talking about briefly today. And before you judge, just remember, when I was a kid, when I went to college, there was no Ivy University where you could get your PVF degree for free. I actually had to pay for it, so I had to earn a little money. What are you going to do, right? Okay. Did you get your kicks out? All right, show it one last time so we can see it and move on. Okay, great, we, we can move on. All right, there's four major types of gaskets in the industrial world that we're gonna talk about today. Those are the spiral wound, the ring gasket, the full face, and the RTJ gasket. Let's go over each one briefly to let you understand what exactly they're used for. The spiral wound gasket with reinforcement rings has the sealing element formed by winding two materials into very thin V-shaped spirals. Different configurations handle different flange designs. This one here is fitted for a raised face flange. The sealing action is actually a result of a combination of the flow of the metal and the soft filler piles when the gasket is compressed. So one of the things I want you to see with this is exactly how it's made. So I'm going to take this one, which has actually been busted open. It's a pre-wound on the spiral. I want you to see exactly how it's made. Can you see that? The spirals are actually put together. All right, very good class. Now let's talk about the ring gasket. The ring gasket, non-asbestos. In fact, we're going to talk about asbestos in our Did You Know in just a bit. The ring gasket is made of non-asbestos, which is a special gasket material based on aramide fibers and nitrile rubber. It has good resistance to water, gases, oils, and fuels, and it's pretty cost effective. Now this gasket is considered a drop-in gasket. So what I did here is I took out a couple studs out of an orifice flange to show you with these smaller gaskets, these smaller ring gaskets, how they just slide right in where the studs have been removed. They can fit on flat or raised face flanges. Okay, let me put back this orifice flange. And now let's talk about the full face gasket. So we'll put the ring gasket back. The full face gasket has the same outside dimension as the actual flange it is working with. This will allow you to set the gasket right in line with the bolt holes and give it a tight fit with no chance of shifting whatsoever. So the thing about ring and full face gaskets is they can have many different types of material, at least be made of many different types of material. Two that are popular in the plumbing world, which we do carry here at IV, are neoprene and the red rubber. They are used for marine and refrigerants. However, they're not really commonly used for industrial applications because of the chance of a blowout. Now the RTJ gasket or the R oval ring is made for high pressure or high temperature applications. And just looking how thick of this bad boy is, you can understand why. So we'll get this RTJ flange here and I'll show you how it fits. It's widely used by the way in refineries, petrochemical and oil field drilling industries. It fits snugly in the groove of the flange. These flanges by the way, are made in accordance with all the relevant standards that are needed for those industries. Okay, which leads us to my favorite part of every episode. Did you know? Industrial Valco University presents, Did You Know? Asbestos is a material that, unlike many others, can be woven. Because of this versatility, it became known in many circles as the magic mineral. In the 1960s, it was determined that the dust from asbestos was causing serious or terminal illness. Did you know? white asbestos because of its ability to look like snow not to melt and to be fireproof was popular on film and tv sets to look like snow and it was even used in the wizard of oz set in the poppy field scene and it's never really said but probably implied that it was a big part of killing the wicked witch of the north that's just my conspiracy theory okay let's talk about b7 studs all right these b7 studs right here have a very high tensile strength and they're generally used in a high pressure, 
high temperature environment like petroleum or say chemical industry for flanges. It's generally coupled with grade 2H nuts. Now the sizing of the B7 stud really is directly looking at the size of the flange. So how, what the length is or the thickness of it. So you got here a three inch, it only needs four B7 studs. And then you go to a four inch and suddenly it pops all the way up to needing eight. Of course, depending on what is needed for the strength to be properly taken care of. And also a little hint, if you're, doing a quote for a b7 stud or a gasket that means there's going to be flanges to follow so if you're a salesperson and someone orders or gets a quote on these that means they need to buy one of these so make sure you always ask for that flange also make a nice little sale make a couple dollars all right what did we learn today class let's go over it right now we learned that there are four major types of gaskets used in the industrial world those are the spiral wound the ring gasket, the full face, and the RTJ gasket, otherwise known as the R oval ring. These types of gaskets are used with flanges and can be made of different materials depending on the application desired. In the industrial world, they are usually secured with B7 studs, which size and length is determined by the flange they work with. So there you go, class. Although I did forget one thing that these gaskets are actually really good for, and that is, of course, Frisbee golf. Yikes. Um, I better go quick. Hey, if you need any of this stuff, you can go to iValco.com. We have 25,000 light items. Um, see you. Have a great day. Wasn't me. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24-7 online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.